Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, interesting one, we're going to be going over the Hashdex NASDAQ crypto ETF, which is fascinating, loaded with some pretty good cryptocurrencies, guys. We're going to go over that. Swiss government, yes, launching crypto trading, which is awesome. Van Eck, Matthew Siegel is betting, uh, you know, the uh, Solana ETFs. He's basically a bet on the uh, US election, which, by the way, is literally going crazy at the moment uh, from the debate that happened the other night. I've been watching literally nonstop, uh, you know, Fox News, CNN, uh, you know, of course, all of the major news networks in the United States. It's crazy what's going on in there. Let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win this election. I don't know. It's it's wild what's happening out there at the moment. And uh, it's scary, to be honest. Uh, we've got a $1,000 price for Solana. Uh, again, the network in, uh, you know, the project in general is making some pretty big moves. We're going to go through that. Bitcoin ETF inflows as well, which is nice. A lot going back into ETFs, which is crazy when they're going out and in. Grayscale, yes, is selling off a shitload. But anyway, whatever. I'm really annoyed with them. And Ethereum uh, products to see the highest outflows since 2022. And uh, I partly think this has got to, a lot to do with Grayscale as well. Anyway, we're going to go over that in my three comments bots. Let's get into it, guys. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well. Because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. Things are just getting crazy in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the youtube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that so make sure you give it a good thumbs up doesn't cost you anything it's down there thank you very much you rock also a little disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff right i don't want to see anyone get financially hurt all right formalities are out of the way straight to community tab and yeah it's freaking cold and i'm um, like just this weather I kid you not, in Melbourne, makes everybody like just meh. It's just so annoying. If you are somewhere around the world that's got summer at the moment, which I'm seeing on all my friends' Instagrams, traveling Europe, the United States, you know, lovely Canada, beautiful spots all around the world with sunshine, can you please send it to Melbourne because the weather is effed here? Anyway. <laughs> just putting that out there let's have a look here we've got top old coins in the portfolio we've got constellation dag uh we've got electronium here a bit warm uh ubix network we've got cardano as well nice and immutable x i like that now moving down the list right this is an interesting one i found and uh, saw on x but hashtex literally has uh, like a basically an index an index or an etf uh, with a lot of our favorite cryptocurrencies. This is what's coming to, you know, Wall Street, so to speak, right? Which is freaking awesome. Uh, and we're going to go through this on the website as well. But um, I mean, this is wild. Literally wild. The SEC acknowledging the 19B-4 filing for Hashtag's NASDAQ Crypto Index US ETF. Uh, again, would hold both spot Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is all the uh, actual, you know, updates coming out from the SEC. But Looking at the assets right here, I mean, it does have all of our favorites. You know what? I'll just wait for that for a moment. Stick with me with this. But uh, going back up here, uh, don't look at much at the weight. Look at how much XRP must be purchased per share, right? It's 215.85 XRP per share. And uh, that's a lot, right? A lot of money is going to be flowing into this as well. Now, I'm getting a lot of questions in regards to the NAV. And again, that's net asset value, uh, a very interesting one. So basically net asset value or NAV is the uh, total funds assets minus its liabilities. I wrote this down, divided by the number of outstanding shares, right? So it's quite complicated. This is what happens when you're usually buying ETFs or closed end funds where you can basically get a good price for buying up more shares, right? Anyway, the, the main point of this is 
there is going to be an index fund or an ETF, you know, a basically an index of cryptos, right? So a, a basket or an ETF, a basket of stock, like stocks, but for cryptocurrencies. And yes, all of these cryptos will be a part of that. That just got acknowledged uh, by the SEC and that's Hashtex, which is awesome. That is freaking huge news. And also German government is selling a lot of Bitcoin, $95 million uh, earlier today, which is really annoying as well. And also... How bullish is this that the courts now recognize Judge Torres' ruling in the you know Ripple versus SEC lawsuit as law of the land? This is recognized. So Judge Torres' ruling is you know law of the land, which basically means cryptos are not securities. And I should say in particular, XRP is never going to be a security. That is freaking bullish. Love that. Now, moving on, let's go to coin market cap. Have a sip of the Red Bull. And uh, I haven't had a Red Bull in a while, but I love it. Anyway, 2.31 trillion today, $53 billion in volume. It is up 14.39%. It is still incredibly low. Uh, again, when this gets back up to, you know, 180, $200 billion in 24 hours, yeah, things are going to get crazy. 53.47% uh, on the Bitcoin dominance and 49 on the fear and greed index. And Bitcoin's currently trading at $62,602 today. It is still down. Ethereum's at 3,438. Solana up 0.57% now. It is $147. XRP's at 48 cents. I'm not going to go through everything else, but guys, there is still incredible time and uh, we're very, very early in this space, but things are starting to pick up. Uh, going to crypto bubbles. Before I do, I have the Wall Street Boy University again. I've just posted up there today. Uh, the dividends as well coming in. There's some significant ones coming in from my readjusted portfolio and i'm also going to be posting up the bots that i just set up with the uh you know with the leverage trading on uh, gate.io with three commas so go join up it's freaking awesome there's a lot of useful information in here you will learn a lot of stuff so link is below for that one having a look uh at three commas yes i did set up a new bot with 3x leverage now again leverage trading is really risky i do not recommend it I do have my spot trading bots set up as you can see right here. And the market is extremely volatile, but the, the sorry, the leverage trading bot is on gate.io only with 3x leverage trading on an RSI indicator, 3 minute time frame taking 1.5% profits. And again, this is really I should say this particular bot is really low risk, uh, but everything comes with risk, but it's low risk. Uh, and again, the uh, base orders have set to like 27 USDT. So uh, again, this is with a multi-bot, so you can set up a single pair bot or a multi-bot's up to you. Uh, but the way I've set this particular bot up is really to be uh, you know, mindful of the volatility in the market, hence the 3x leverage. I wouldn't go any higher than that at the moment because you'll get liquidated like that. All right, so uh, even with 3x, you can get liquidated. But anyway, I've got that running in the long position. I'm just going to set and forget that one uh, for a you know, couple of days, see how it goes. Uh, but I will link that in the Wall Street Boy University. Anyway, three commas is linked below. The spot trading bots are awesome. You literally set and forget these. You don't have to worry about liquidations because you're not trading with leverage. So it's a really, really cool way to earn some passive income uh, and just let these go. But uh, the market's been very, very flat. Also, uh, again, I'm using OKX for the spot trading and Gate.io for the leverage trading. Those because, you know, some exchanges, OKX, are bound by Australian law. And the regulators because they open an office here so just keep that one in mind okay all right anyway moving on that is all in the wall street boy university go and have a look at that uh let's have a look here what else we've got where is the news because i want to get into this guys crypto bubbles on the day i mean bonk's been doing incredibly well six thousand eight hundred and fifty five percent or like this year is ridiculous i love it uh just for those gains you would never see that in the stock market ton coins up 3.7 percent today 475 dollars uh, and Chainlink as well, just sitting up there quietly. It's 127% all time, or you know, basically this year, uh, but 1.7% on the day. So I'm bullish on Chainlink. Now, let's have a sip of the Red Bull. Look at this. I like this right now because this is fascinating. This is what's coming to crypto. Main Street, you know, you know, main investing, Wall Street, index fund for uh, crypto. Hashtag, right? HDEX.BH, broad digital asset exposure for the new age of investing. This is crazy right now. Now, look at this. 
Okay, so the fund's objectives. The Hashdex, Hashdex, Hashdex NASDAQ Crypto Index ETF investment objective is to track investment revol results before taxes and expenses of the NASDAQ Crypto Index, which is comprised of market-weighted large cap crypto assets. Now, this is an interesting one right here. Uh, moving down, the portfolio consists of the following Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, XRP, Cardano, Chainlink, uh, Litecoin, AVAX, Matic, Uniswap, and Polkadot. And it's interesting right here. Now, coming up to the, uh, I've got a market cap right here, the price, and it's weighted right here. Of course, it's going to be heavy in uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. That is a given. But it's also building up in Solana, which is nice at 5.24%, and as well as XRP at 1.48%, which is actually quite good. Um, so again, it, it's traditional investing on Wall Street. And uh, it's really, really nice to see this, but to be eligible for the uh, NASDAQ crypto index, crypto assets must meet the following criteria. This is interesting, tradable on three exchanges. Any crypto asset included on the NCI must have active tradable markets listed on at least three exchanges, right? Since previous index um, uh, reconstitution. Uh, now we've got supported by two custodians. Digital assets exist within the co uh, code base of an underlying software protocol. Accordingly, digital assets require specialist services to hold them in storage, uh, which is interesting. And of course, we've got minimum market representation. There's requirements for this. So this is really bullish stuff, right? To be considered for entry to the index at any index uh, reconstitution reconstit right here, an asset must have a median daily trading volume of USD pair conducted across core exchanges, free floating pricing. I mean, it's awesome. I freaking love it. Now again, key funds and terms and key facts right here again. Let me just open this up. Uh, let's have a look here. Minimum investment required is 100,000 US dollars. Wild, right? And of course, we've got assets under management is currently sitting at $557 million for this fund. That is wild. So again, look at this. This is what's coming to Wall Street for cryptocurrencies. And this is just the beginning, right? Love it. Now we've got the Swiss government right here launching or Swiss government bank launching an XRP, ADA and Solana, AVAX and DOT trading. Uh, Post Finance, a bank fully owned by the Swiss government, has introduced XRP, Solana, Cardano, AVAX, Polkadot trading services for its customers. How good is that? And the Swiss bank will also enable custody services, <coughs> excuse me, for these cryptocurrencies, which is really nice. So, well done, Switzerland. Moving ahead. Now, this is an interesting one. Van X, Matthew Siegel confirms Solana ETF is a bet on Trump's victory. Wild. Van Eck. Head of Digital Asset Research, Matthew Siegel, uh, confirmed speculation that the company's Solana Spot ETF proposal bets on Donald Trump winning the US presidency. Okay. The deadline for VanEck's application is set for March 2025, which would put it well beyond the aftermath of the US presidential elections in November, uh, which would be freaking crazy. But uh, Siegel simply responded with a simple can confirm. There you go. That's fascinating. Can we see a $1,000 price for Solana? I really do think we will. And uh, again, predicts a massive upsurge. I think it's coming. I think Solana is going to lead at Bitcoin. And I've urged with your patience is required. These things don't come in, uh, instantaneously. It takes time. But when they come, they will can be life-changing, Raul Powell said. There you go. Stick with that one. Of course, we've got ETF inflows. There's been a lot uh, again, $14.65 billion. Uh, again, that's a lot of money coming in back into the crypto ETFs. Because again, there's been a significant amount of outflows, but they're slowly creeping back in. And Ethereum products see highest outflows since 2022, which is freaking annoying. Professional investors withdrew over $120 million from the Ether tracked exchange traded products in the past two weeks alone. Crypto firm CoinShares said on Monday, such products recorded $60 million in net outflows uh, each past two weeks, the most since August 2022. Elsewhere, multi-asset and Bitcoin, Bitcoin uh, ETPs recorded inflows of $80 million. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there with Grayscale when they start, you know, getting their application approved, how much money is going to flow out of that. It's going to be wild. 
Let's go to X and we'll end up on here, guys. Massive shout out and thank you again to all of you. I really appreciate it. Moving down, there's not a lot here, but a victory from Binance uh, in the US federal court dismissed several SEC claims against Binance, which was bullish. Crypto tokens are not securities. BNB sales of secondary exchanges were not adequately alleged to be securities. BUSD uh, is not a security, which again, which collapsed. So if you're holding that, you're probably sitting on a gain right now. JP Morgan, Mount Gox creditors uh, take place in July. So these all will, you know, will flow through this month. So be prepared for a little bit of volatility this month. Uh, and again, that's what they're saying. And it would, you know, basically pick up after this month in August, which is nice, my birthday month. Fidelity has bought 1,030 Bitcoin. Uh, scrolling down, I'm going to end on this, guys, because there's not really not much going on on X, but uh, Vitalik, everyone's favorite for Ethereum. Have a listen to this talking about XRP. I'm going to return your process over these transaction functions. <laughs> that's really what Ethereum is. You know, people talk, people talk a lot about things. Uh, talk about cryptocurrency 2.0 being like the internet of value. We're, no, we're not the internet of value. Ripple is the internet of value. We're an arbitrary process of receipt transition. Ripple is the internet of value. Of course it is, Vitalik. Thank you, mate. That is pretty much it for today, guys. It's a short one, but uh, make sure you stay uh, bullish. Continue to have a investment plan, dollar cost average. And I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. Right? Stay safe. Have a good night. Good afternoon. Good morning. If it's morning, have a double shot of espresso or a Red Bull. Take care, guys. Peace out. Bye.